All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. You can see I'm black and white because colors don't matter, right? Um, yeah, the righteous Tyler is here, the, the almighty righteous one. You can't even see it because I zoomed into my camera way too much. Um, today we're going to be building something. I haven't built a deck. I haven't been building decks in a while now. And I thought it's time again to make another deck. There's so many useless decks I've made. Some of them were good. Some of them not so much. You know, some of them are really good. So no, some of them are just utterly useless. So, uh, for example, my beautiful Agatha Slots deck. I mean, it's fun, but I think we're going to kiss that dream goodbye. Um, I'm gonna get rid of that one as well. Um, what I really want to work on because that was an ongoing Thanos deck I wanted to work something on with Thanos and make a Kazar Thanos deck because somebody actually suggested it in the comment section below So yeah, I do read the comments every single one of them and I try to reply to every single one of them So let's get into it. We're gonna build a Thanos Kazar One cost deck. I don't know if that's uh, really stupid and clever uh, no, wait, what? That doesn't even make sense. Uh, if that's really stupid or if it's really clever. So we're going to start off with our good old... Uh, what are we going to call this, first of all? Uh, Kazar Thanos. Just making it as, as easy as possible. Just sitting here trying to find weird names is probably not going to cut it in time. So we're going to go with Thanos, of course, into the deck. And we're going to check out um, the usual uh, ones. Wait, like that. Kazar. We're going to actually use the good old Savage Land. Uh, version and we're gonna use blue marble as well probably so I'm gonna get in with that let's bring in blue marble here ah uh, oh wait there's some particles on here as well I don't even know which one is what now I have no idea doesn't matter um, and then we're gonna go into our one cost cards this is where things are gonna get interesting now obviously I'm gonna go, uh, go with nebula on this one because uh, nebula is just so good and I'm actually thinking about hit monkey as well because it's just so good. Uh, the combination, the zoo potential that we have in the end uh, is just really big. Which one was the newest one? I think this one is the newest one, right? So we'll bring that in as well. I might be actually switching that in, a, in the future. But um, yeah, let's bring this one in here. Uh, what we can do is we can make use of the hood, to be honest. We can make a 1-6 uh, card out of this one. And we can literally buff this one to a 1-0. Uh, which could be potentially pretty good or not. I don't know yet. Um, let's see what else do we have. Of course, we have uh, Rocket Raccoon. I'm kind of trying to build a little bit about Hit around Hitmonkey because I've been doing a zoo deck in my last video, so I'm still kind of thinking uh, in that region. We might actually want to go with... Z I like Zero and... Titania to be honest. I like them. I like the combination. They're both one cost cards and they are going to make uh, a huge You know load out of power as you can see we have zero coming in with three power We have Titania coming in with five power zero is going to take away the power of Titania Which is uh, going to leave us with a 2-8 on the board, which is not bad uh, You know, it's pretty good um, but I also want to have some more one cost cards that we can literally throw in there. I'm still thinking about the hood though um, but I don't know what to do with the one minus two yet. I don't know yet. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know This is why I'm just gonna keep it the way it is squirrel girl is always uh, a pretty good choice uh, But I kind of want to exchange her with mysterio because mysterio um, Yeah, could work. I'm still thinking I don't know <laughs> um, Where's my good old uh, friend ant-man? I, I like ant-man in those decks So I'm gonna bring in uh, the steampunk version of ant-man um, by the way, for the people who don't know, variants don't really matter, it's just the visuals, I don't know, don't know why I said it now, but just letting you guys know for some new ones. Uh, Bast is a pretty good um, idea, let me see what we have, we have one, two, we can boost Hitmonkey with it as well, but we could nerf Titania with it, but I think I'm gonna go with Bast, Bast is gonna get boosted by uh, Kazan Blue Marble as well, so I'm gonna bring that in there as well. Um, hmm, what else do we have? I think Rocket Raccoon is a, not a bad choice. Um, I guess it's a 1-4. Uh, if you, if you guess it correctly, I'm just still trying to find something that's a little bit better. I mean, look at that variant. That's awesome. Gonna bring that into the game as well. And then we're gonna look for some higher cost cards, I think. Something that's gonna help us along the way. Oh, that's a nice variant as well with Agent, uh, 13, but we don't need that right now. Um... I was thinking about a little bit of bounce elements. Uh, we could bring in Beast and Falcon. Uh, where's Beast? Is that even... Wait. Hello? Hello? There we go. Beast and we could bring in Falcon. Let's see. Maybe that's a pretty cool idea. Because 
through Thanos, we will have a lot of cards. We will have a lot of stones in here as well. We just have to make use of them. We have to draw them quite often and quite fast. But the good thing about it is, is that we can literally draw them fast onto the board without really losing much on it if we draw into Kazar and Blue Marvel. So we can literally buff and boost them. I have no idea if this deck is going to work. This is a completely self-made, out of my mind deck right now. So we're going to go into the game right now and see how this one's going to stack up with the games that, you know, are about to come. So make sure to subscribe to the channel. You know, I always enjoy a like and a comment. I uh, always love to read what you guys have to say about the certain decks that I build. And we will see each other in just a few seconds. Let's start. Alright. Last game, I got wrecked. <laughs> uh, no, I just made a mistake. Um, but that was fine. You know, getting wrecked is a normal procedure of life. After play a copy to you, add a copy to your hand. Okay, interesting. I'm gonna have a whole hand full of... Uh, I'm gonna put Nebula on every single... Oh no, that doesn't even work, but... I'm gonna put Nebula onto the board. Twice, at least, into two locations. Um, we do have bees, so that would be... Okay, wait, let me think of this. That is actually pretty smart. Let me, let me try something here. Do I want to keep Nidavellir is the question. Yeah, I'm a zoo deck. I'm pretty good with Nidavellir, so it's going to build a lot of pressure. Okay, we have Goose on it, but that's fine too. Alright, so let's do this. And do that. I have an idea. So I'm going to get Nebula back. I'm going to play on Cloning Vats again, and then I can play the copy on Eternity Range. It's gonna build tons of pressure, that's insane. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. So, give me back Nebula. There you go. Oh wait, they give me back both ne Nebulas, but that's fine. That's fine, I can still build the pressure. But, ah, the I, the, the bad thing of this was that... Okay. Alright, so I'm gonna build pressure on these guys. Um, reality? Eternity range. Uh, okay, <laughs> I'm overwhelmed with this deck. <laughs> quite obvious. <laughs> quite obvious that I have no idea what I'm doing here. Just, just throwing that out for you guys. Okay, so turn five is gonna be beast. Cards are gonna come back into my hand, and then I will smack out a hit monkey. <laughs> yeah, obviously I have no idea what I'm doing. So don't worry, guys. Honestly, I have no idea what I'm doing. Okay, so Goose is not a problem for us. That's the good thing about this deck. But um, I think I can beat Eternity Range. It depends on what else is going to be played. Okay, so... <laughs> oh my god, nice. Mm. We're going to bring in that guy over here. And... Let's do this. Actually... I'm gonna bring my cards back into my hand for a strong turn six, I guess. <laughs> I could have played because I don't know. Let's see. I have no idea what I'm doing, by the way. Listen, I have no idea what I'm doing. Alright, so let's bring these guys back onto our hand. They're gonna be free cards, same as Titania, is a 0 5. Um, it's gonna jump over and it's gonna come back to us. There you go. Card is gonna go open, it's gonna go back to us now. And I'm pretty sure I know what's happening now. Mm -hmm. Okay. I don't want to beat... I don't need to beat Eternity range, to be honest. Uh. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to go and change Nidavellir, honestly. Wait, let me think of this again. Uh, that's a one cost card. I don't want to lose that. I kind of have the feeling that I want to beat Eternity Range, but it's going to be so difficult to beat. Okay, let's bring all of the power I have here. There. Space Stone. That's all I can do because I don't want to lose all of my other cards okay so okay 
Good thing is that Nebula is going to get the power and then Hitmonkey is going to come in. I might actually... I don't know. Oh no, I lost this one. No. Oh wait, it hasn't opened yet. I'm going to get my card back. I actually got this, wait. Alright, jump back Titania, thank you. Oh, I got it. Oh. Damn, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. Yeah. I don't know how much luck was involved and how much skill it was involved, but that was a little bit mind-boggling. It was a little bit strange mm, to, 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 to win this one. But it made sense. I had to see because the Titania went over, but I didn't see that I was turning, uh, drawing last. I wasn't thinking about it. But yeah, we got it. It's a very confusing. This is like the most confusing deck I've played so far. I, I build the most confusing deck in Marvel Snap, I think, because there there's so many options, so many cards that you have to manage. Uh, but yeah, let's do another one, I guess. Uh, just to um, let everybody know, I'm probably as confused as you are right now. Okay, that's just important for you guys to know. I'm I'm just confused with this deck. Oh no. We have Sanctum Sanctorum. Yeah, I'm not gonna go with that. I don't like that. Sanctum Sanctorum is for a zoo deck the worst thing because you want to initially fan out all of your one cost cards onto the board as good and as quick as possible. And Sanctum Sanctorum is just gonna take that away from you. You're only gonna have two locations. I mean, it's still beatable, but I, I gladly lose. On some locations, I gladly lose a one cube. I don't mind at all. Rickety Bridge is one of these ones as well. I don't like Rickety. Okay, so I'm gonna skip through that. We're already starting off with Blue Marvel. I mean, obviously, because we start off with so many cards in our hands, like 14 cards, mm, of course, you're not gonna be always drawing into Blue Marvel or Kazaa, so you have to kind of, like, really be careful here when to snap and when to continue when someone else snaps, but right now, it doesn't look too bad. Uh, oh my god, TVA, can I, can I quit that? Can I get rid of that? Let's see if we can get lucky. That's like one of these things, man. It's another one of these locations that are truly annoying. Um, okay, so what I'm gonna do here... Okay. <laughs> Thought so. I mean, honestly, uh... You know, Zudags are good for TVA. You can dish out quite a bit early on in power. That's why zoo decks are really good, but especially with Thanos as well, it kind of gives you a few options. So I'm gonna go with a cost deck, cost four, four. Yeah, that's fine. Sure. Let's bring out Ant Man. I mean, you could, I could have saved it, but just have something on the board, you know, letting everybody know all of my steps that I'm going to plan for turn six. <laughs> oh come on, Nebula. Nebula. Mm, I have an idea. I'm just gonna, just gonna bounce these. So they're all gonna be free. It's good maybe if I draw into Hitmonkey. Plus I get the Time Stone back, which is good. Space Stone it doesn't really matter that much. I mean Space Stone is good to protect your cards from Shang-Chi in like turn whatever, four, four or five, something like that. Or six even, but um, you know. Time Stone is the one that you want. The Eye of Agamotto or something like that, wasn't it? Like when he did like this, the Doctor Strange. <laughs> Come on, boy. Don't fall asleep. Okay, there we go. Star-Lord. Nice catch. Alright. So, bouncing those back. And then I'm gonna go with Bast. Uh, buffing all of them. Oh, that's actually a pretty nice play. And I can even drop down uh, on turn 4. Move everything to the right. Yeah, that's good. Uh, that's actually pretty cool. Does it work? Can I bounce them all back into my hand and they're all gonna get buffed by Bast? Let's see if that that line of work, like that line of um, thingy is gonna work. I don't know. I've never tried it. I never bounced and then be Basted. I, I don't know. Oh my god, another nice catch. What's going on? Yeah, it's a good idea with Nebula because people are gonna build pressure on it and stuff, right? I think it works. Look at that. That's awesome. So we're gonna bounce that and they're all gonna get plus three. That is strong. Don't get me wrong, guys. Like, this is really not bad. Okay. Everything is gonna move to the right. 
so uh, I'm just gonna prepare they're gonna go duh, 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 and the so they're gonna go in here right all right let's do it this is like a different kind of like it's bounce slash movement a little bit you know all right so they're gonna get moved over mmm that's good That is not so good. Hmm, I didn't know it was twice. The Bifrost, I didn't read. Okay. Um, sure. Uh, yeah. Let's see if that works. Falcon on the board. <laughs> oh my god. This is <laughs> this is so confusing. My mind is breaking. All right, so all of my other cards are going to go back now. Oh no, I should have played it last, but because then I would have played all of the cards and then I could have played Thanos and I had more space, but whatever. Oh my god, this is so confusing. I have no idea what I'm doing. This is like one of these episodes where I'm 100% honest to you guys, where I have to tell you I have no idea what I'm doing. But it kind of, it's really fun. I can tell you that much. I mean, this deck is super fun, but it's really weird. I mean, I believe if you would be really good with that deck, maybe... Oh my god, Professor X, are you kidding me? Oh no, wait, I can win that. <laughs> Look at that. It's so funky. I need Hitmonkey now. That would be the creme de la creme. Yeah, that doesn't work. Okay, so we got that. Thanos is... Oh, wait. No, he can't be because he's not... Ah, okay. Damn. Where did you find this? Okay, I'm gonna boost my other cards. Whatever. I don't care. That's not gonna do anything, but let's see. So, Blue Marvel on the board. Ant-Man boosted. Hopefully, Blue Marvel. Boom. It's gonna be tough to beat, but it's possible. Yeah, now you're ready, Thanos, eh? Now you're ready. Oh my god, I got it. <laughs> what? Oh, this deck is so weird, but it works. Why does it work? Why does this deck work? So, out of like four or five games, I won three. And I lost one, I think. Something like that. Yeah, I lost one, and I won three. That's what, I, what happened with this deck. Um weird weird deck but it's so much fun like it makes like you have so many possibilities you have to manage so much oh look at that we got some stuff have i ever mentioned that i like stuff green and also mean <laughs> 500 yeah let's go let's open come on guys I'll, I'll i'll take you along the journey do i have a 500 somewhere laying around just you know ready to be claimed no nothing can't even see it anymore I'm clicking way too fast okay we're gonna go with 400 there we go usually I have so many 500s have I already used them all up I don't know nice collectors cash no it's reserve let's go boom uh, 100 only that is a ripoff it's rigged guys this is rigged I can tell you that much 200 we have another 200 let's go let's do another 200 all right, so that was it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you do enjoy this content and you will join back just very soon. I would assume tomorrow and then uh, I'll be gone for a while and then I'll come back, you know, uh, just a few days later. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Uh, make sure to leave a like, subscribe, you know, be part of this channel. Please support me. I mean, free. I pulled so many views with some videos. Left 300 subs. Come on, guys. We gotta push it to 1k so I can make some money finally with this channel. Making some moolah. Alright, so you can help me with that. Come on. <laughs> Do it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.